guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today we're gonna to be showing you a quick little video on working on the 39 Ford Tudor, uh, 39 Deluxe Y-Block Hot Rod. So that was one of the uh, three vehicles that we pulled out of the um, Swamp Junkyard for the first round. And we kind of showed you guys last time just to walk through the car of what it has, what it needs, what we dug out of it, and now we're kind of ready to start uh, picking away at the car and get it ready to uh, maybe put it back on the road. So the first thing that we ended up filming on this car in between doing the rush for getting the free tea together for the show, right before I got laid up in the hospital, um, was working on getting the car moving, steering, and then working on getting the old engine pulled out of it. Now I've sourced a 292 out of a 55 T-Bird that is an older restoration, but the engine uh, was a running driving engine and actually the heads were gone through uh, and not too long ago. So that should be a great candidate because I can just slide that back in there, get the thing to run, and we can just work on making the car safe to drive. So we're gonna show you a little bit of footage that was, uh, was shot a little bit ago, I didn't get the car uh, quite to the point that I wanted. I wanted to have the engine pulled out for this uh, for this video, but with me be da being down for the count, I'm a little working a little slower than I normally do. We figured we'd put together this video and give you guys an update on where the uh, 39 uh, Y Block Hot Rod car is at this point. So enjoy. <laughs> Definitely tweak, but let's a little bit of green. Oh yeah, it's original paint. Take it. Looks like on this one it's these back ones here. That were That's what I was thinking. These were they were the ones that weren't moving. You actually, you know what, I can look at this one. In the back one, you can see it's all bent, the backmost hinge. It's like got a U to it, and it's probably pulling the hood. Yeah, it's disconnected. <laughs> oh, let me just see if I can get the hood up in. The first time I've looked at the, under the hood, more than just peeking. All right, so this is the first time I got the hood open. It's got a kick-ass, huge monster uh, vacuum operator. I think it's vacuum operated. One of those real loud air horns there. Battery's still in it. Pretty cool. Uh, but what we found is this back hinge way back there should not be U-shaped like it is. So somebody... Uh, Somebody when they were yanking on the hood that was seized on that side and it bent it. This one, you can see we're all pretty straight. That one over there is got a Z to it, not good. So we'll have to hammer that flat. Um, but here's the, the Y block that's in there. I didn't even look at any of this. It's obviously, it's gonna be stuck, I'm sure. Water pump's free. Yeah, cool. All right, front hood latch is, uh, is seized, and somebody broke off the hood latch in the front trying to yank it. I already sprayed it a little bit, and we got this moving. But this guy here, we're gonna do some more croil action. Ooh, yeah, go ahead, lose it down. Oh, hey, look at that. That's it. Jeez. All right. That works. It's already worth $20 more. This one is. All right, here we go. We got that one working. That is not happy yet. We'll have to work on that more. Ah, oh, yeah. It's all broken free, of course, now. But make that. there. Seems like it's it. It's just this has been out. Maybe it's bent. Kind of looks like it is. Mm. 
moving. That's the key. Step one. Close it down more coil, let it sit. All right, so it's got like a normal exhaust pipe on one side. But we noticed over here, some custom, I use that word loosely, custom exhaust doing a full 180. That might hurt the uh, the flow a little bit. Yeah, so we got, let's try and zoom here. Here we go. It's across, across, oh, there's a hole. And down, 180, around. It was underneath the car. But whatever they did, must have been driving around all right. Oh. Or it's just a piece of sh yeah, rotted out and fell down. Let's <laughs> turn the whole damn thing. Turn the stud out of the carb. Oh, you know you can just barely see the stickers on the on this one. Yeah, I noticed that. Wonder if that. Still got oil in the oil bath, believe it or not. <laughs> I can't believe that. I'll show you guys the uh, oil bath it has chunky old oil in it. Look at that slop. God. That's pretty, it's probably mostly half water. I don't know. All right, so we got the hood off, and uh, we found a slight modification for clearance. You know, you just bash the firewall in, cut it, and uh, put a piece of, I guess that's galvanized steel, unless it's cardboard, not sure. Looks like just galvanized steel that's in there. And, uh, down here below, it's just they just cut the firewall out completely. But you can see it was just done very rough. There was a shot of the battery that's still in it. And we'll have to show you guys, but the motor mount situation is pretty interesting as well. All right, so now you can see the, uh, the front engine mount, if we want to call it that. It's solid mounted to the car, so this is actually welded right there with some flat bar. This is the original like engine mount or cross member or whatever from the car it came out of or truck. They torched it off. They 
Goober welded it there, and then they went over on this side and welded it also there. So we gotta figure out how to get this thing off of here. Might just uh, just cut it off. Not sure yet, but that is the front engine mount. We can't really get to the to the center engine mounts, but we have to figure out how to get that off and then disconnect all the mess up here and the trans and we'll be sliding this right out of here. All right, so as you saw, the uh, the 39 Deluxe uh, kind of fought us tooth and nail till we got it in the shop and it finally got the, uh, the drivetrain uh, or the parts around uh, to get to the pulling the drivetrain, get all that set uh, was a lot of work. Getting that hood off was a royal pain in the butt. Somebody had tried to force the hood open at some point without lubricating and they had bent one of the, the hood brackets. That, that bracket was bent in such a manner that we couldn't get in to get, uh, to remove the hardware that was holding it in place. So it took quite a while to get in there with so sockets and, and extensions and swivels to get all of that off there. But we did finally get the hood off, started getting it all apart. And as you guys saw, we found some pretty interesting modifications uh, just old school hot rod, really. Uh, so we're just about ready to get the engine to pull. I just got to go and pull uh, a little bit more of the hardware, get the exhaust cut and, and fully out of the way. And then we're ready to pull the engine out. We're going to try and leave the transmission in and just slide the engine in and out. So we're going to get that pulled next time, uh, kind of check the engine out a little further, see exactly uh, if we can figure out a little more of what it is. Um, and then we'll just work on getting the engine bay all cleaned up. You know, we did notice that there was some hacking going on around the firewall and battery tray areas. So while the engine's out, it'll be a great time to go through and try and uh, carefully repair those areas and just make them a little less uh, like somebody did it with with a butcher's knife and make it a little a little cleaner. So that's all we have for this one. I appreciate you guys following along, and I apologize if any of the videos are a little slow or behind right now. I am healing up a little bit, so I'm not working quite as fast as I normally do, but we're gonna do our best to try and work and get you guys videos on the normal schedule of Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Uh, definitely uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, drop us a line below. What do you think of all these uh, custom mods done to the 39 Deluxe? Thanks guys, catch you later.